अच्छा अच्छा गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ मुकेश यादव फ्रॉम यस कॉन्वेंट सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल सौरमो सुल्तानपुर टूडे फॉर क्लास एलेवेंथ आई हैव टॉपिक रिलेशन बिटवीन टॉर्क एंड एंगुलर मोमेंटम द रिलेशन बिटवीन टॉर्क रिलेशन बिटवीन बिटवीन टॉर्क एंड एंड एंगुलर मोमेंटम एंगुलर मोमेंटम स्टूडेंट वी नो दैट द टॉर्क टाउ इज इक्वल टू वी नो दैट वी नो दैट द टॉर्क टाउ इज इक्वल टू आर वेक्टर क्रॉस एफ वेक्टर R vector cross F vector and the and the angular momentum angular momentum momentum L vector is equal to R vector cross F P P vector R vector cross P vector. Now this uh, angular momentum is differentiated with respect to time. we get now now the angular momentum is is that is l vector is differentiated differentiated with respect to with respect to with respect to t we get we get as we know that uh, the differentiation of angular momentum dl vector upon dt vector is equal to is equal to r vector d upon dt d upon dt r vector cross p vector student here a mathematical formula known as the product of the product of two quantities the in the form of differential equation we know that we know that we know that the differentiation of first function the differentiation that is we agar if we if we have two function that is x and y in the multiply form then we uh, uh, find the by the formula dx upon dt into second function plus <coughs> first function into second function ka differentiation second function differentiation now we operate by this formula uh, here we get we get dr upon dt that is first first function into p vector plus r vector cross dp upon dt that is second function now now we know that now we know that <coughs> now we know that <coughs> dp upon dt vector dp upon dt is equal to force uh, we uh, study about the newton second law f is directly proportional to the change in differential the change in angular momentum with respect to time now we can uh, write dp upon dt as f as f so dr upon dt is into p vector plus r vector into f vector but what the dr upon dt is known as velocity the dr upon dt is known as velocity and and v vector now putting this value in this equation we get we get dl upon dt dl upon is equal to dl upon dt dr upon dt is known as and p is equal to mv so v vector cross p means m into v yani ki mv vector so uh, we have an additional point means f vector cross f vector sorry r vector cross f vector so uh, by the rule of vectors law by the by the rule of vectors law we know that same vector 
as we can say that vector A cross vector V is the magnitude of this vector is zero. So here we have two quantities like V vector cross V vector into M vector. This values has been zero and R vector cross R vector cross F vector we have. So uh, D, <coughs> DL vector upon DT is equal to R vector cross F vector. Why above equation we see, see right here that is that is tau is equal to F vector cross sorry tau is equal to R vector cross F vector then we put the value then then we put then we put the value tau is equal to F R vector cross F vector now we are in, in this place we can write tau vector so dl vector upon dt vector dt is equal to tau vector this is the exact relation between angular momentum and torque angular momentum and torque this is the representation of torque as we know that the torque is as we know that the torque behave like just a force in a linear motion we know that in a linear motion we know that the force is uh, f vector and in the rotational motion we know that the force is torque so here uh, according to newton's second law we know that uh, the f vector is directly proportional to the, the rate of change of angular momentum so on this basis we can say that the torque is equal to the rate of change of angular momentum with respect to no uh, with respect to time is called <coughs> is called we have, we can say that it is called the torque yeah torque we can have is kai sakte hain now the unit of the we find the unit of the unit of torque now we find the unit of torque we know that the torque is equal to the torque is equal to dl upon dt dl upon dt now we know that the torque uh, angular momentum is the form of m v r upon m v r and the time t by this we get we get the unit m means m and velocity meter per second and the r is the radius so uh, sorry distance so it, its unit is meter and upon time so finally we get here the unit of torque the unit of torque is equal to we finally solve kilogram meter square uh, the unit of second uh, time is second so uh, we get a meter upon second square this is the unit of torque and on this, on this basis we can find out the dimension of torque we can find out the dimension of torque the so we uh, dimension of torque dimension of torque is equal to m kilogram means m and meter l square and upon t square so finally we concluded that the unit of torque is equal to m l square minus 2 this is the this is the dimension of torque thank you have a nice day